Is that me? <laughs> Baboo! <That's you. laughs> Big Brother's wildlife documentary task continues. Angie the baboon is told to collect a bunch of bananas. They're not even ripe. Oh. 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 Perfect. She grabs the bananas excitedly and returns them to sit on her favourite branch high up in the tree. Yay. Climb up to the very top and sit there. <laughs> uh oh. The big brother baboon loves bananas. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah, man, he put effort into it because this is our weekly budget. Monkey. I love the banana. That's the spirit. Yeah. It's but here. delicious as it is, what she loves to do the most is not eat the bananas, but to mash them all over her face. <laughs> Once she's happy with the amount of banana on her face, no. she rubs more down her arms <laughs> and through her hair. Oh! Oh! I love this so much. It's so good. But one banana is hardly enough. Yeah! <laughs> she quickly peels another and begins this bizarre banana mash routine all over again. I love David Attenborough. I'm so glad. <laughs> yum, yum, banana. Yum, 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 yum. Love it so Together much. You're going to be the prettiest baboon in the whole jungle. Finally, the ritual is complete. But instead of removing the banana as one might expect, she enjoys the feeling and will remain in the tree leaving the banana drying on her skin for hours. Oh, oh my God. Narrator. For hours. What a strange creature. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a bit rough. Oh, this just brings out the colour in your eyes. Thank you. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Stacy has decided to experiment with a task of her own, giving Bradley a makeover. Do you cleanse tone and moisturise young Bradley? I do D none of the above. Oh. Well, give you a close your eyes. Obviously a beautiful face needs a beautiful fashion. So let's um let's prop you up into a little wee dress. Come through with me, Bradley. Come through this way. What have we got in safety? I'm thinking oh the Lord Donnie. God, what have you done to me? Made you more beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> he actually looks like intruder. a chick, eh? <laughs> oh my god. May I introduce to you? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and boy. Oh and girl. God. Now go check out their feet and ask them what they're wearing. <laughs> hey, Bradley. <laughs> Bradley, turn around and show Ben. Hey, man. <laughs> Stacy <laughs> has taken me from beast to beauty. She has, uh, it's my little protege. Yeah. Bradley's not the only one in on the fun. George is being transformed into Georgina. A really beautiful rosy cheek there. Look at me. Oh. <laughs> Wow, if that's not a beautiful creature, I don't know what is. Oh. That look good. Now take those cargoes off. All right. Oh, he's got no underwear. Oh, I might get it on. Hi guys. Hey peeps. <laughs> I look like a crossdresser, right? Yeah, you do. <laughs> but that's why we love ya. That's why we love ya. <laughs> Holy crap! It's, it's Mama Tonga. We created a Is not surfing getting to you, Joshy? Massively, like yeah. Years really? Yeah, it's, it's like probably the longest I've ever been without looking at ocean. <laughs> Josh is used to surfing every day on the outside, and after a month inside, he's also sacrificed not talking to his ex-girlfriend who's moved overseas. He has an upcoming date with Ava, the intruder, later, but for now, his thoughts are in the past. Josh, hey. Georgie. Yeah, it's good to have a 
good look at the old XA. <laughs> That's what I do to people like no one's around. I'm a good look, hey. Yeah. Feels so weird looking at you like that. <laughs> Before you say that. Hello, Josh. Hey, big brother. How's it going? How are you going today? Yeah, not, not bad. I miss a certain female who I've spoken to every day, um, well, up until coming in here for the, for the last sort of nine months or so. Missing, uh, missing going to the beach, getting waves, um, and just, yeah, hanging out with mates and stuff like that. Today's really just the first day that it's, that it's actually gotten to me. I've thought about it on previous days and, and been like, oh, it'd be good to go for a surf or be good to just go down and, and sit by the beach and uh, see what's going on. But yeah, today's the first day that, it, that it's really sort of um, played with my mind completely. I feel like I'm starting to lose it a little bit. <laughs> Fair to say that the Big Brother house is like a gnarly left-hander. <laughs> I prefer right-handers, but yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. It's a, it's a battle. Left-handers are a battle, so that's uh, that's a great analogy. <laughs> well done. Next, Ray gets mauled in the lion's den. Who have we bitched about? Let's do it by time. <laughs> <laughs> to save Angie, call one nine zero two double five nine five zero one. SMS Angie to one double nine double five triple nine, or vote on Facebook. the house's resident water buffalo, Josh and George have been called into action in this week's Big Brother Wildlife Doco. Water buffalo. Water buffalo. Then they lock horns. It's a classic stare down. Water buffalo. <laughs> ah, that hurts so bad. Now the pecking order has been established. The buffalo are the best of friends again and can indulge in their favourite pastime. <laughs> they join together, wallowing in the mud. Dive! Dive! Push his head in! Push his head in! Push his head in! Watch the crocodile! Oh! <laughs> oh, they're in love! The big brother elephant decides to join in. <laughs> still, still, dive over the top of them. The elephant puts mud all over herself as the three animals soak together in a beautiful display of muddy unity. I want to see unity. In the bedroom, talk turns to competition and Ray's need to win at any cost. Oi, how funny is it that today the short jokes came out? Oh, I used to do my thing, I didn't mean to, was that bad? He's just paranoid, he hates it because everyone knows. Ding! He's like paranoid. And so, the, the crazy thing is, in the real world, he's, he's not that short. Sure. Not that short. He's, He's short, not short at all. The reason why I get small man syndrome from him is because he gives that flavour off. Like, he's, he gives me the impression that he's lacking in self-confidence. I feel terrible because I don't know what it is about Ray that annoys me. Like, it's... Oh, no, it's you... this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and you're like... Do you know how peaceful and calming this is for me to hear this? Because I don't know either. I don't know what it is. Who have we bitched about? Let's do it by time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, designated time. Miss Dale. Am minutes. I, am I, like, does that thing the same to Estelle? Like, I just feel like she's so far away, you know? She's just given up, maybe? I don't know. It sounds mental. The things mm. that, I, I can't deal with it. Like, I, I am 
actually uncomfortable to the point of my skin crawling when mm. I sit there and have a conversation because I just know she's going to say something like, like she'll look at me with a lavender up her nose and be like, meow. Yeah. And I'll just be like. <laughs> <laughs> she's so beautiful. But like she's beautiful until she goes like this at you. Yeah, she's got the bung eye. Oh. <laughs> No, the bar. I've had Do you think she's beautiful? I think she's beautiful. Mm, she, you did. You did on the first what day. What is your so type? First not? day. Yeah, yeah that's all it is. Like that's all we're asking. But so Estelle is more your like typeish rather than me and Layla. Like no way, towards. Ange at all. Yeah. yeah. Um. It makes me feel odd if Ange is being portrayed as like a sex. Sex, like a sex, like you know, yeah. sexy girl in yeah. the outside box. No, it like, doesn't make me feel good at all. So. Why? She said, Angie's not like she's a really nice girl, yeah. super fun, but she's not like sexy. No. Mm. I think she'd like to think that she is. Yeah. It's Angie's first time nominated, but eviction veteran Estelle is here to help. What are you <laughs> Miss Josh's date with new girl Ava. I am Josh. Before she meets her new housemates. Surprise! Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother. 